before we go ahead and start this legendary trailer reaction review thing, um, quick quick reminder: if uh, you're interested in the three houses giveaway, I'm gonna try and launch that this weekend. I know I've been talking about it for a little while, um, but I've been trying to figure out the best way to do it without getting a bunch of community strikes on the channel, because evidently Glean contests trigger that for some reason. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out maybe like a slight way around that. So I have everything pretty much figured out as far as like prizes and such. I'm just, I'm putting the finishing touches on how to roll it out and where you guys can actually sign up for it. So if you don't want to miss that, be sure to subscribe to the channel or at least like check back frequently because I may have to post it in the community tab or something weird like that. Just a heads up. Now then, on to this. They said it couldn't be done. They said your boy wouldn't call it. I don't I kind of called it. I he was the legendary hero here was one of my five picks uh, that I had sorted out. Um Probably either I would I would have probably said third on the list next to uh, Micaiah and uh, uh, Corin. In fact, I think he was in the thumbnail. I think he was in the thumbnail. Let's just watch, shall we? Let's get let's get this on. Let's see who he is. I know a lot of you guys are going to be excited about this. Finally! Finally! And he is a pair-up. So we just we just have sword boys for pair-up now. Okay. Ardent Durandal. Oh my. Oh, okay. Hello. Ninian? Hector! Yes! That's way better, Ashley. I'm like, I'm more psyched about that. That makes me happy. Alright, so we got Gunthrow, we knew that. Ephraim. Robin. We knew all of these. Ryoma. Lucina. Okay, nobody knew yet. Random Veronica! Okay. There's Sakura. There's Hinoka. There's Selkie. New Year Reed and Yoon. Or Yune. Okay. So we, like, okay. Alright. Okay, so I I made mention in my prediction video that we might get like a rando colorless like uh, legendary Veronica or someone and lo and behold that's exactly what they did uh, So that's kind of cool. I guess uh, We do have New Year Freed. I apologize. If you watched that video. I Thought New Year Freed was like back in April Not the case uh, he had not been on the banner yet. And unlike new normal pool heroes, um, special heroes that are newer that repeat in legendary mythic banners, they will always be in there. Um, so he was he was pretty much a guarantee. So um, that's interesting though. The red pool is uh Huh. Huh. I also wouldn't have taken Elwood as a wind blessing. Cause you know. Um the, the blazing blade. Durandal. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> whatever, man. I don't care. We got Ellawood. My boy is in here. My boy is here. I'm super happy about that. Yuri Lowenthal. What a baller. Okay. Alright. Ardent. Durandal. Uh, grants attack plus three. Great. At start of turn, grants bonus doubler to ally with uh, highest attack. And bonus doubler grants bonus to attack speed defense res during combat equal to the current bonus on each of unit stats for one turn. Calculate each stat bonus independently. Um, he's also got death blow 4. So that was uh, previously only available on Brave Celica. Uh, not so much anymore. So that's that's kind of back in at least a semi-repeating summon pool, sort of. Um, since Elwood will appear on a legendary or mythic banner uh, at least several times a year. So that's kind of nice. Uh, chill attack 3, which is dope. Uh, Rally speed res plus, which is new. And then we also had uh, Vision of Arcadia, which is like the signature skill here. 
Uh, at start of turn, if a dragon or beast ally is deployed, grants attack defense plus six to ally with the highest attack for one turn. So kind of coinciding with the uh, the bonus doubler effect on the weapon there. Um, Vision of Arcadia kind of helps to uh, impact that even more, which is hype. And Deathblow 4 and chill attack. Holy hell. He, I don't think he's going to be very fast, though. As you can see, he was not doubling that mage. But he will double this Axe Fighter. I'm not anticipating very high HP. Or speed. But I think he's going to have monster levels of attack here. Like, crazy monster levels of attack here. There's really not a whole lot for me to pull on here. Obviously, there's good fodder potential. Um... I don't have Sakura. I, I ended up getting a Selkie, I think. Yune is always nice to have. The Mythic Heroes are the ones that, if you're if you're interested in Ether raids, um, those are the ones that you're probably going to watch more more frequently than maybe the Legendary Heroes would be, uh, just because the Mythic Heroes, especially the defensive Ether raids defense type oriented Mythic Heroes, those are the ones you're going to kind of want to watch. Uh, so Duma. Yune, um, no, I don't think Naga is necessarily defensive, but she, Naga is also very good. Um, either way, so who do we have for Colorless? Because I think that's probably the weakest pool here. Um, Legendary Robin, who has been around a bit, um, our OG Colorless hero. Um, probably pretty low priority, for, unless, of course, you don't have her. Um... Hot Springs Sakura, Flyer Healer, pretty handy, honestly. I don't have her, but uh, those who I have talked to who have a Flyer Healer Sakura Hot Springs unit are very happy with her. Uh, and then, of course, Brave Veronica, who is just beastly in all out every right. Um, so overall, it's not bad. I don't think there's really too weak of a pool, to be honest. Um... Elwood definitely ups the red. Uh, Rioma, Rio, Legendary Rioma's good. Um, but again, Sword Flyer, it's one of those movement and weapon types that you can kind of replace pretty easily. Um, and, and I mean, New Year of Reed, same situation, right? Sword Flyer. Um, obviously, different stat spreads, different weapons, different base kits. Um, but sword units are typically pretty interchangeable. But again, if you don't have them, this might be the one you want to pull on. New Year Harid, I'm, I'm sure, was pretty popular among people. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people were looking forward to seeing him come back. Green. Green. Um, so, Hot Springs Hinoka, who is pretty darn great. Splashy Bucket is probably one of my favorite weapons. Uh, and it's a dragon slaying weapon, which is just so bizarre. I love it. Uh, and then we've got Yune... And then Gunthra, who is also a monster. Uh, Yune, obviously very good for Ether Defense. Um, yeah, give or take what her what her buff does with Rez. Going up against an enemy team with air. I don't know how effective it is in practicality. I don't take either raids that seriously. I should. And I want to continue to try to do that. But baby steps, I guess. But green overall. You know, Gunthra has been around a while. I think uh, Hoshiden um, Hot Springs Hot Springs Hinoka is is probably worth it, um, and then Yune, of course, if you don't have her, she is definitely worth it as well. Uh, Blue, Blue, we've got Legendary Lucina, Legendary Ephraim, and Selkie. Um, Selkie is a beast as well, <laughs> and I don't mean that just because she is a beast, you know. I mean she is like pretty bonkers. Um, blue is also pretty solid. You know, Ephraim has been around for a little while as well. So we've got some of the more original, like, OG-type legendary heroes making a return in this banner. Um, Robin, Guntra, Ephraim, even Ryoma to an extent. Um, he's not... He hasn't been around that, that long. Um, but he's not exactly one of the newer-ish ones. Um, overall, pretty solid banner. Um, I don't know. I... I might give it 
three out of five gold blooms. That's probably what I would uh, rate it. Um, if you don't have the units, I would pull for them. All of the units are pretty pretty good, honestly. Um, it's not necessarily a make or break banner. I feel like the last legendary banner with Naga, or I guess it was a mythic banner. I feel like that was like a prime banner to pull on. Um, just because you had other units like Legendary Tiki, for example, um, who was a monster. Uh, you, you can definitely get a good spread of units represented here. Um, I, like I said, it's not, it's not anything like uber fantastical, but it's pretty decent overall. Um, if you don't have the units, if you want the units, obviously that preference always takes over no matter who you are. Um, but I would give it three gold blooms out of five. That's my official gold bloom rating, I think, for the most part. Uh, that's it. That's all I have. I will be pulling for my boy Elwood because Elwood is my boy. That's how I feel about that. We stick together. Um, guys, let me know in the comments what you think. Are you happy? Are you excited? I know a lot of you guys on the prediction video were like, please don't be Elwood. I'm saving for a legendary or a brave Elwood. Please don't be Elwood. Well... Sorry, fam. <laughs> Sorry, fam. It's happening. Uh, if it's any constellation, he'll probably be back around September, I would imagine. September, October, somewhere around there. Um, but either way, that's it. That's what we got for now. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Again, I will be starting the Three Houses giveaway, if nothing else, if you want to keep up to date with that. Um, that's probably the easiest way to make sure that you get notified. I don't know how YouTube notifications work these days, but... Subscriptions and bells probably work. Um, but let me know in the comments what you guys think. Like I said, uh, I am genuinely psyched about this banner. Because even though Elwood doesn't look all that different, um, I love Elwood. He's one of my favorite characters in the series. So I'm psyched. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you next time.